If you have been playing chess for some time now, you probably got to the conclusion that tactics is one of the most important parts of the game. It's the element that's gonna make or break your game, it's gonna make you win or lose certain matches. And winning or losing a match is mostly about finding or missing certain tactics in game. And finding those tactics is more about finding the patterns in your games too. And how do we find those patterns? Basically, we practice them over and over again until we can recognize them in real games. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're going to practice many examples of tactical patterns, five of them that you must know if you wanna improve in chess. And the first pattern that we're going to take a look at is the skewer. Also, people call it X-ray. So what happens here is we have two pieces of your opponent lined up and here we have black to play and win. So here we have white's king and rook lined up and we can take advantage of that by attacking the king and forcing it to move. And as it moves, we can capture the piece that is right behind it. And this happens a lot with long range pieces such as the rook and the bishop. So those kinds of attacks, the skewer is going to happen. They are going to happen a lot. So the move to win here is this one. We play rook to a1, forcing the white king to move. And as it moves, these two squares are unavailable, so it can only move here. We can grab the rook for free in the next move, and we uh, are winning this game. So uh, this is the skewer. It's not very difficult to find. You just have to look for pieces lined up uh, horizontally, vertically, or even diagonally. If you have a bishop, you can explore that as well. So it's a very important pattern and it happens a lot. Now let's take a look at the next pattern. Well, the next pattern is the fork. So the fork happens, also known as a double attack, it happens when you attack two pieces at the same time and then your opponent has to choose one of them uh, to move, to save, and the other one's gonna be uh, of course taken so uh, we can apply forks or double attacks with many pieces in chess one of the most common ones to do that and the most powerful ones to do that is the knight and here we have a knight fork it's white to win and the move is very simple here we're going to play knight to e6 forking the king and uh, the queen so they have no choice they have to move and no matter where they move their king doesn't matter actually we're gonna end up taking the queen and we are super winning this game. Um, from here on is just converting the winning position. So that's how we apply a fork. It's when we attack two pieces and your opponent cannot save both of them. They have to choose one of them. So uh, we can apply this with many pieces. And uh, this one is the easiest example to see, which is the knight, but we can also apply this with other pieces. Let's take a, a, a look at another example. Okay, guys, this one is black to play and win. So again, we have a fork and this is like a double attacker fork. And this one we're going to apply with the bishop. So the winning move here is bishop to e3, forking the king and the rook in the corner. So no matter what they do here, just moving the king uh, over, we're going to take the rook in the corner and we are super winning this game. So again, you can apply forks or double attacks with many pieces, with pawns, with uh, the rook, bishops, the queen, whatever. So uh, what matters is you're attacking two pieces at once, so you should be looking for those patterns in your games too. Okay, the third pattern that we're going to take a look today is the discovered attack. And in this example right here, it's white to play and win, and the discovered attack is fairly easy to set up. You're basically going to have a strong piece, long ranged piece, like a bishop or a rook, even the queen sometimes. And we're going to move a piece that is right in front of it, or maybe a distant like this knight right here. And we're going to unleash the attack on another piece. So that's why it's a discovered attack. We're going to move a piece and then we are going to unleash this attack against another piece and in this case here we're going to move here the knight is going to get the king in check and no matter what you do here if you move your king away we're going to end up taking this piece again with check so uh, that's pretty much how it works and we have other examples of discovered attacks too let's take a look 
Okay, in this example, we have white to play and win. It's again a discovered attack. And you, you already know what to look for. In this case, we're going to play here. Bishop to h6, check to the king. So the king has to take or run away. And no matter what they do, they're going to end up losing the queen in the corner. right? So this is how we end up winning uh, positions here. And in this case, we are winning the queen in this in this problem right so that's how you do a discovered attack you have to move a piece in a way that you end up um, unleashing another attack at the same time so there is not much your what your opponent can do right so in this case right here we are winning the queen let's take a look at another tactical pattern okay in this tactical problem it's white to play and uh in this position here this uh, pattern, the fourth pattern that we're going to take a look today, we are talking about deflection, which is pretty much you're going to uh, make force your opponents to move a defensive piece and remove a defensive piece from uh, your opponent. So they are going to leave a piece hanging. So in this case right here, we're going to deflect the king uh, by playing this move h7 rook to h7 this is going to force the king to take the the rook here uh, or do whatever no matter what they do here they are going to leave the defense of this rook here and which is now undefended and we can go ahead and take it of course we're going to take it uh they will have to move here and as they move we can grab another rook so no matter what they do here if they go here or here we're going to take the other rook okay so that's pretty much how the deflection works we're going to sometimes sacrifice a piece sometimes force our opponent to move a piece and remove a defensive piece and then we can take uh, material in this case it's a good example but we have another one okay this is white to play again and uh, as you can see we have to deflect the king again so we can win the queen and the piece here the move here is rook to h6 forcing the king to take so you can capture the queen so uh, again they will have to move one more time uh, but this is pretty much winning for you you just have to make sure you deflect your opponents from the defense of another piece so you can take it for free okay so this is the fourth pattern the uh this no oh sorry it's not the discover the deflection so let's move to the last pattern okay in this problem it's white to play and win but before I talk about this fifth pattern, I'd like to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed, like the video if you liked it, or leave a comment down below on some of the tactical patterns that I didn't talk about in this video and you would like to see me covering in another video. And this fifth pattern is the pin. And the pin is when you have a piece uh, that is in between an attack like this and they cannot move. So this pawn right here is pinned because it cannot move right uh and if you try to move this this piece for example trying to capture a piece here or here it's impossible because then the king would be in check sometimes we have absolute or relative pins we can talk about that more in depth later but the idea here we are attacking the king so this pawn cannot actually perform a capture it can move of course but it cannot perform a capture because otherwise they would uh, leave the king in check so we are safe to play this move right here which is a fork don't get me wrong this is a fork we are forking the king and rook but if this rook wasn't here then it was simply uh black could simply take the knight here and it wouldn't be a fork but since this rook is here pinning the pawn the pawn cannot actually take this is an illegal move you see as much as i try to do it computer just won't let me because if i do this the king would be in check so it's just impossible they have to move the king over and as they do that we take the rook and we are now up an exchange they can go ahead and grab our knight but um we are winning because we have a rook for a knight in this position then from now on is just converting okay so we talked about five of the most important uh patterns here that every chess player should know i have my little uh my little notes here the skewer, the fork, discovered attack, deflection, and the pin. And of course, guys, there are many other tactical patterns. These are just 
one of the most important ones that I'm covering in this video. If you want me to cover other aspects, other tactical patterns, uh, just please comment down below and give me some ideas too. And maybe I can put them in another video. But if you liked this video, don't, re don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as well if you are not subscribed yet. Thank you very much, guys, and I see you as always in the next video.